Hello everybody, welcome back to the Blonde Psychic channel. Please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. I would really appreciate that if you have done so already. Thank you so much for doing so. Today we are doing a reading regarding um, the Akashic Records. So what are the Akashic Records? They are where Source comes from. They are where all our messages, our answers, everything comes from source and that's where the akashic files comes in and it lets us tap into those files um with our spirituality with our mind's eye with our third eye with our intuition and it lets us gain the knowledge that we gain um from doing readings as a light worker and deliver them to you okay brief rundown of the akashic records we don't know what is going to come out of this reading we don't know what information is going to come out i will challenge channel as much as I can and also get you a tarot reading about your Akashic Records reading. It may not resonate with everybody so just take bits and pieces or try a different pile. If none of it resonates just means it wasn't for you and that's okay. Not every reading is for everybody okay. So I'm going to give you a visual aid for this one. Pile one is the angel hear no evil. We don't want to hear any evil today. Cute little cherub there. That's group one, hear no evil. And it's also the witch's tarot. Are you drawn to hear no evil? And the witch's tarot. Group one. Is group one for you? Group two is see no evil. And it is my blonde psychic deck. The blonde tarot, see no evil, and the blonde psychic blonde tarot deck. And then we have say no evil. And I can't remember the name of this deck. The light seers deck. Ah, light seers? Maybe. I can't remember the name of the deck. I'm very, very sorry. Um, but are you drawn to say no evil? This deck. It is a beautiful, beautifully illustrated deck. No answer is wrong. Whatever you are drawn to first, you are drawn to. That is the right answer for you. So we've got group one is hear no evil. Group two is see no evil. Group three is say no evil. They're the three little angels, little cherubs that protect us from our evil thoughts, feelings and sayings. Okay. So go ahead, pick group one, two or three and I'll see you in your reading. Group one, hello and welcome to your Akashic reading. We are using the Witch's Tarot for your tarot deck. You chose Hear No Evil and the Witch's Tarot deck. I am going to be channeling and asking for the help of my guides during this reading and also from Amida, who is my starseed life. She is from Lemuria. I have my Lemurian crystal here and I can channel with this. Um, hopefully she's alongside us today to help us channel and also selenite the master cleanser and protector okay i'm calling upon archangel michael my god my god victoria my starseed self meter please help us challenge challenge channel i got that one wrong didn't i i'm blonde psychic for nothing please help us channel the akashic records and deliver the message the group one need to hear. What do they need to know about their life and their purpose and their journey here on earth? What do they need to know? Please protect us and keep us um, safe and protected with a white light of love and protection. Amen. I'm wanting to say that mountains are very important for you guys. Mountains or climbing and achieving your goals. That is one of the biggest things that I'm channeling first from this reading. Um, accomplishing your goals and um, climbing those mountains and really, really setting up and stepping into a time of your power. You're really wanting to, um, you know, make your life better and successful, your human life that is. I think a lot of you are already um, awakening or going through an awakening as we speak, but your human existence isn't one of great value to you because you're more interested in um, 
building up your spiritual awareness or going through this beautiful awakening that you're going through and you're currently in the question of either starting that awakening or um, starting a path to work in the spiritual field. A lot of you are wanting to achieve your goals and putting a lot of effort and time into your current energy and life that you're living as a human being and you want to honor and value that and you want to set up a successful human existence because your life as a human hasn't been um, great so far. There's been a lot of trauma, there's been a lot of um, not... I don't want to say poor because you are rich within other areas of your life, but um, you don't have all the material things being met in your life and you're at a stage where you're not opening up spiritually and going through this awakening to meet your spiritual side, but you're also wanting to build up your human life and existence to be a success and to... um, Move on to the next chapter of your life in a sense and bring more accomplishment and success to your human existence. You're wanting to climb that mountain and be at the pinnacle at the top of it and really raise your vibration from a low one um, to a really powerful one. You're not wanting to live a mundane day-to-day life anymore. You're wanting the best for yourself and um, in past lives, you haven't been well off. You have been struggling. Um, very hard workers though. You weren't ever rich. You always had to work hard for your money. And you always had to prove your worth to people. Proving your worth, being successful and working hard is very important to you and your family. And you do have some karma that you need to clean up within this lifestyle. Um, that you're living now it has been passed on from your generations um, to you your ancestors have passed it on to you and that is to break the chain the cycle of materialistic poverty in a sense that is why you strive so hard to be successful and make your human existence a more valuable one for your own um, life that we're living currently now. So you're at a stage where you've got something to prove and that stems back from the karma that was passed down to you from your ancestors. And it's like it's a point to prove to yourself. You want to not only break the curse and you want to break the generational ties that bind you to this um, materialistic poverty, Um, but you want to be successful. You want to break the curse. You've got a point to prove to yourself. And um, again, it stems from generations and generations of your family. They weren't well off materialistically. And even though you're comfortable and you're happy in other areas of your life, um, it has been passed down through the generations. And you're making a point to prove that it stops with your bloodline. It stops in your generation. You don't want your children to go through not having the materialistic things that you wanted as a child and you didn't get growing up. You want them to have better. You want to be successful. You want to break that curse and you have a point to prove big time. Um, you want to break that generational karma and you will go about doing that with you know monetizing and manifesting um, success within your materialistic realm you want the best of everything you want good things in your life you want to bring good things into your life you want money you want the best of everything and that's not a bad thing to want because you've never had them even your you've never had like really good ex- nice expensive things good nice what kind of word is that Donna nice expensive things you've always had hand-me-downs or you know, secondhand things. And again, I'm not bashing anything here, whether you have the best of things or the worst of things or middle class, whatever you are living in, um, it's it's right for you. Just know that's right for you. But you, this is just the general energy I'm thinking up from the Akashic Records, have been passed down, this generational karma, and you want to break the generational curse. You want to prove your worth to someone. You don't want your children to keep living in a 
impoverished impoverished cycle um, you want to set a good example work life example for them you want to tell them you know instill good educational skills within them you want to send them to good schools you want them to have a good education so they can go to university and set up a good career for themselves you want to teach them how to save you want to teach them how to buy a house you want them to get the materialistic things they need within their life and within their lifestyle you want them to take care of their needs first and foremost before they settle down into any other area of their life this is what you're trying to instill into your children now you're wanting to change the way that you were parented you're wanting to make their existence better than yours was as a child you want to give them a better experience into their adult life and you want to set up um more positive um what do i want to say that more positive future for your children and in thus doing that teaching them the right skills telling them what track to go on um, taking them down the right road will stop this cycle will stop the karmic cycle will um set them up for success and not only by doing that by instilling these skills with them and these um, values within them they're also going to break the generational karma that has been passed down to you and also um, you're going to start maybe studying more or starting a new business or finally following your dreams and doing it from a passionate point of view and it's going to be very successful for you and create you a lot of um, success and wealth um, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but you're not a, not afraid of hard work. That's what I was saying. You are climbing those mountains. You are going to be achieving those goals, passing on these skills to your children, instilling strong work ethic within your children. This is very important to you within this lifestyle because you grew. A lot of you grew up poor, even though you didn't. You're poor um, in regards to finances, but you were rich in love. So you were, you know, taken care of when it came to love. You were taken care of. Like you weren't poor as in living on the street. Maybe some of you were. It's very extreme. Um, but I'm seeing you were not well off financially. And um, you were taken care of. And you had lots of love. And um, you just wanted better for yourself and for your future children. And your future generations in your life. And by doing this and stealing these good work ethic within your children and your children's life it'll break the um, generational karma it'll stop that cycle and it will go on to lead you to success and your children um, have successful lives so good on you you're climbing that mountain you're achieving those goals you're instilling good lifestyle skills to your children and to your own life and it's going to break curses and set new foundations for your future generations you're doing something amazing Good on you for doing that. That was your channeled message. Let's get your tarot message from the Akashic Records. What can we let group one know about? What do they need to know? Group one, Akashic Records. What do they need to know? Group one, Akashic Records. What do they need to know? twos why is it coming out in twos maybe some of you two is very important to some of you nice taking control with that emperor we'll get two more cards that's too many that was like five cards i think all right that's three we'll take them okay Let's talk about your cards. So we're opening up with four of wands. Oh, sorry, king of wands. King of wands and two of pentacles, paired with two of pentacles. So king of wands is all about taking that action for success. He's very successful in his career and taking um, action towards his thoughts, feelings, and dreams. And look at that, it's paired with the Two of Pentacles, which brings ultimate balance into your life. So finances are going to be balanced, um, life skills are going to be balanced, taking action towards this. And it's a positive, positive thing in regards to work-life balance. It's going to 
um, be an overall balance for your whole children. As I said in your channeled message, you're going to be breaking those um, generational curses, generational standards passed down to you from your ancestors and ending the impoverished, impoverished um, financial cycle from you instilling good, strong work ethic and life skills within your children and your life. You're teaching them how to set up um, good finances and life skills for their life, which they will instill, instill into their children and pass down to their children. So you're setting a new generational um, achievement by doing that and taking the action to do so for your children. Okay, moving on to your next cards. They have the world and three of wands. So yes, you're going to go on this time of exploration and wanting um, to better your life and your children's life. I keep getting referred to, um, back to breaking these generational curses, wanting better, wanting more. Um, stability, wanting more finances, wanting the best of everything. So if, you, if they're anything like my children, um, they want the best of everything and you try and give it to them, but you've got to do it. Um, you know, they've got to earn it. They just can't be handed it. So you're going to instill these values within your children as well. But they're going to have a good balanced upbringing, okay? You will ultimately break that cycle. Um, that has been passed down to you, but it keeps coming up again and again. It's very important to you to set a good example and to want better for your own children and your life. And you will do that with the three of wands. You know, you know your ships will be coming in. You're going to figure out the way to do that and stream ahead with your um, with breaking that curse. And the world is there, okay? So that means that um, end of an old way, beginning of a new, end of an old chapter, beginning of a new chapter. Um, so that's really talking about um, ending that generational karma that your family has instilled upon you and actually um, starting a new chapter and starting a new pre um, sort of positive prerequisite into the way your children go on to parent and the way you um, change your parenting style. It's very, very influential. You're very, I don't know what you do, but it's something really big, something massive, and it changes the way you see the world and the way you parent, and it's a completely new beginning. I think you might get a bit of backlash for um, going to this extreme, but it's like you're just taking the world by, um, you know, by the reins and taking control of your world, and you're saying, nope, I'm doing this, this, and this, and this, and my children will have an amazing life, and watch my world change. It is very sudden, it is very driven, but it is very special and amazing. So well done you for taking charge. And you got the emperor, I'm not surprised you got the emperor. All about taking command of your life and control of your life and really wanting better, um, better push, better drive, more drive. And look at that, that's you. how funny we talk about this, wanting better for your children, because there you are on your throne, You've done the hard work that your ships have come in and your children are in the background playing, enjoying their life, reaping their benefits of all the hard work that you've done. You will take control, steer your ships in the direction you need to go on and it break the cycle. I keep getting referred back to these cycles, breaking generational curses, breaking the way you were parented, setting new prerequisites in um, your life going ahead that will affect your children and your children's children. Again, talking about bringing emotional stability into your life. This traditionally talks about relationships, but again, I don't think it's talking about love relationships. I, talk, I think it's talking about emotional stability and family relationships. So your children will benefit from the changes you're making now within your life, from your success, from your um, desire to succeed, from your want to succeed. By you taking control, they're going to enjoy their life and live their life more productively than you did growing up as a child. Um, you sometimes do doubt yourself, nine of pentacles reverse, and it is going to be hard and take quite a long time. So this is what, I'm, what I mean by that. You've got the nine of pentacles reversed with the nine of, nine of pentacles upright with the nine of pentacles reversed. Just saying that, yes, you have the emotional love and support of your children and you might even in, instill this emotional stability within your own needs first and build up, bring up um, the cup of love, fill it up 
in your own mind first and then set about this journey because the knight is the slowest moving knight in the deck and ultimately you want this knight of pentacles upright you want this financial abundance and stability and you want to do it on your own it's very important for you to do this journey on your own as well you don't want any help you want to you've got to, it's like you've got a point to prove to somebody and you're like yes i'm going to do it by myself some people are doubting you and your success and have voices to you um, and you know it's going to take a lot of time and effort, but you will eventually get there. It's just going to take a lot of time and effort and energy, but you will eventually get there. The night will take you there. Um, don't give up, okay? And you will turn this pentacles, nine of pentacles around. Just don't let anyone else's opinions or beliefs um, belittle you or get you down. Always have your goal in sight, which is taking care of your world, building your world up. And your worth up um, so your children can have a better life for themselves. That is your ultimate goal here. Don't let um, negativity um, bring you down. And isn't that funny? You've got little, you know, evil um, guardian cherub here, guardian angel cherub here. So you don't want to be hearing any negative comments from anybody and don't take it on board and um, it won't transform into your reality, okay? Group one, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading from the Akashic Records. I'm going to be channeling your message first with the assistance from my Archangel's ancestors and Starseed ancestor Mida from Lumeria. You guys picked the Blonde Tarot deck, which is my own deck. And you also picked See No Evil. So let's jump into your channeled message. I just want a few seconds to connect with the Akashic Records. Ask Spirit to connect me and help bring me through the messages. Ah, you want to be told. Okay. I was just shown a door. The doorway is currently shut. You're wanting to walk through this um, doorway, but it is guarded by two giant wolves. So fear is being instilled within your life. What is holding you back from this new beginning that you're trying to usher into your life? You don't want to be seen. You just want to be invisible. What is throwing you into this energy? Faith for a lot of you. You don't have the faith within yourself because I was referred to a church and church windows and the four of swords, which is, you know, keeping the faith and looking to the brighter energy. You don't, um, you're not strong enough within your own mind's eye and within your own intuition and body to walk through that door and start this new beginning. What is keeping you afraid and stuck in the lifestyle that you're living right now? Something is keeping you stuck. What is it? Spirit, can you help show me um, from the Akashic Records about Group 2, please? Can you give me some more information? What is going on? You're being referred to as a rabbit. Rabbit spirit. Rabbit spirit. And you're afraid of getting eaten alive by the wolf. So that's very full on. You're wanting to hop through this doorway. And you're wanting to start this new life. But fear is holding you back. Fear from what? Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. Fear of um, the unknown. Fear of the unknown. You're not sure how to go about this new beginning that you're trying to usher. And you don't know how to walk through that door take control you're scared to leave behind what is actually behind that door even though if we can get to that door and get past our fears we can start anew and you can start living the more productive life that you want to be living but fear and fear of the unknown fear of the unknown fear of the unknown it just keeps getting heard over and over again in my brain and i'm rubbing this selenite quite vigorously because it is very anxious energy that you're in right now you're not wanting to walk past that door you're not wanting to let go of what um you currently have and it's very vague it's not telling me what you're trying to start the new beginning in what you're trying to usher this new beginning in um 
it's just a new beginning is trying to trying to be ushered in for quite a lot of you you're very afraid to hop past these wolves and you're being visually re represented by this rabbit because you do not want to be eaten alive why is this so scary for you what is happening this reading the access to the akashic records for you is very very vague it says you need to face your fears in order to start your dreams face your fears in order to start your dreams is this a career change for a lot of you is this a new relationship is this you needing to heal unhealed trauma to start a new love relationship do you need to get more strength within your own being in order to move um, and leave an abusive relationship something um, you're acting out of a fear-based frame of mind state of mind and it's not letting you move past it you feel like you cannot reach that door and you feel like you cannot walk through it um, from fear Fear of the unknown, fear of not knowing how to do it, fear of, I just heard fear of being alone, fear of not knowing how to go it alone because maybe a lot of you don't have any support around you or maybe you do and you're just not seeing it or not wanting to reach out to this support because you don't want to be seen as a failure or you don't want to be seen as not knowing what you're doing. You're very independent, you're very determined to do this change on your own. It's like... Um, a goal for you you have to do this on your own you're very strong-willed in regards to wanting to do it on your own so that makes me question why aren't you strong enough to walk past those wolves when you know you're strong enough to do it on your own and open that door and start this journey on you what is stopping you fear is holding you back but you're very um, strong-minded when it comes to wanting to do this on your own wanting to achieve this change on your own being self-reliant and independent and achieving this goal on your own but fear is holding you back from actually taking the first step to do this Whew, this is very heavy energy group too very heavy energy it's like on one hand you're very strong and want to walk through this door and make these changes and bring these changes into your life and it has something to do with your soul's purpose. All right, you are destined to do this. You have felt this change wanting to take place within your life and within your own life for quite some time. And that you're, this is why it's so important for you to usher this change in on your own terms, independently and on within, you know, wanting to achieve your own goals and create your own success. You are wanting to do this on your own. And it has something to do with your life soul purpose could be career could be a twin flame journey something you know exactly what it's about i don't know what it's about it's got something to do with your soul's purpose okay your journey your purpose here on this earth the earthly plane and you know what it's about so you will be resonating with this you will be knowing what i'm talking about it's an achievement of some sort that you're being called to do by yourself for yourself to excel your life, you feel like it's your purpose, you feel like it's your goal, or you feel like you need to complete this step in order to get to your greatness. But fear of starting, of even taking the first step to getting over this hurdle, to walk past those wolves and walk through that door, is holding you back. Now, I'm being told to get uh, my animal deck out because I don't know the meanings of all the animals. I'm very sorry, but we have got the rabbit and we have got the wolf here. So I'm just going to pause. I'm going to get those two meanings and we're going to talk about them because I've been told by my guides to do that. So one second, guys. Okay, so it's clear to me that obviously you're appearing as the rabbit because rabbit is prey and, it, and it's reflecting your fear and you acting from a fear-based reality okay i get that and i get that the look at that first card i pull out rabbit spirit okay i'm not even going to read that yet um and i get that the wolf um is actually you know dangerous and can kill you and represents the fear projected upon you so I get it from that point of view, okay? I get that big time. Get it, get it, got it. Understood. But I just have been called by spirit to 
um, actually go through these cards and get the meanings and discuss them with you a bit further. So I'm just following my orders. <laughs> Let's find this wolf spirit. Where is he? Our rabbit came up straight away. Here we go, wolf. This is what's going on for you. The door is here. This is our door. You're not seeing the door. You're not wanting to walk through the door. You're being represented as this rabbit. Now is a lucky time. So you know by um, walking through this door, by wanting to walk through this door, reflecting yourself and portraying yourself as the rabbit may even have to do with starting a pregnancy for a lot of you. It is something you know you want in your life. It is your soul's purpose and it's a lucky time to do it. You know if you walk through that door, this will obviously help you start achieving your life's purpose and um, putting you on the path you need to be on, but you need to walk through that door, face your fears and walk through it in the first place. But Mr. Wolf here is stopping your access to that door. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Do you have to do some more research before you can walk into this door? Maybe you're on the right path, yes, but maybe you've got a bit more research to do before you can find the strength, summon up the strength to indeed walk through that door, to find the strength to conquer your fears of actually making these changes within our own lives, within your own lives, and walk through that door and start this journey that you're being called to take. You know what I'm talking about. This is very vague. I've just been told it's got to do with your soul's purpose, okay? You know what I'm talking about. You know what you need to walk through that door and actually do. I cannot tell you this because it's very vague to me. All the Akashic Records said is it has to do with your um, soul's purpose on this earthly plane. And you've got to face your fears and face them alone because you're very determined to face this alone and do this for your own being um, in order to achieve your accomplishments, okay? All right, let's move these back a bit because I'm going to do your tarot reading now. Let me know in the comments, guys, what this is talking about. What's your soul's purpose? What is the Akashic Records talking about? Very vague for you, but you have to face that fear in order to start your next chapter, okay? Yes, beautiful. Oops, more tarot. Group two, Akashic Records, what can we tell them? You guys are getting a lot of messages. A lot indeed. Tarot wants to talk. Akashic Records don't want to talk. Very vague indeed, okay. All right, let's get you some messages. So this has a lot to do with um, ushering financial, financial, emotional stability in your lives for a lot of you. Whatever this soul purpose is, um, maybe you're not even seeing what your life pur what your soul's purpose is. You don't know what it is yet. You did choose the see no evil cherub. So maybe you're not even. You don't even have a clue what you want to do with your life yet. And it's making, you know, it's being fearful. Maybe you're a student in school or you're just sick of your day-to-day -day living and you're us trying to usher in change in your life and you just have no clue what you want to do. So you have to face that fear and discover what you actually want to do with your earthly life to bring emotional fulfillment into your life. Because whatever this is, it will bring you emotional fulfillment. And it doesn't have to be about um, a career or, you know, work situa situation. It could have to do with love because this is the second indication of love now, family. Um, it's very vague. Your soul's purpose is wanting to be accomplished here and you want to start it. And it's a lot of different messages for a lot of different people. Maybe a lot of people will choose this pile. Um, it's very vague, but... It's saying you need to tackle this fear, conquer this fear in order to instill that change. Second, third message about love. Okay, you've got the tower, which is going to crum be crumbling down very soon. Your reality is going to change. You're going to face that wolf. You're going to walk through that door and bring this change into your life. Spirit is saying if you don't do it, the universe is going to create it for you. This change will come in in 
um, indefinitely and it will be ushered in for you, okay? If you don't find the strength to bring it in yourself. Um, for some of you, it is a fear-based reality. Um, you're afraid of love. You're afraid of new connections. Maybe you even have a social disorder where you find it hard to speak to people, to leave your house, to even, um, you know, present yourself in public. There is a fear-based emotion here and you're acting out of it, okay? The rabbit is too scared to walk through the door because it's being guarded by wolves. You need to get your sword out. And it's funny to say that. I'm jumping a bit ahead here. You need to jump, get your sword out, slay those wolves and... Um, bring this change into your life because you do have beautiful emotional stability um new your soul's purpose on the other side of that door again two of emotions represents not only the emotional stability again but beautiful friendships new relationships coming in fun times and you know emotional sub substance coming into you and eight of emotions is showing you wanting to walk away from your past get on your path and heal to head to your castle look at that you're wanting to leave your past behind, walk away from it because it's been nothing but troubling for you. In order to do that, you need to face your fear. In order to bring this tower down, in order to change your world, you need to get on the path to wanting better and you need to face this fear. And for some of you, that's leaving the past in the path, past and healing that all together, okay? Again, you will take the action to do this. It's going to take a lot of time and strength. You have to find the strength within to face your fear in the beginning, but ultimately you will do it. Um, you are holding on to, you know, fear-based reality and being left out in the cold. You think if you don't change and you don't usher in this um, tower to come down within your life, you'll got be going nowhere. You'll still be living the same existence over and over again, a bit like Groundhog Day. And there will be no change within your life, okay? Only it's as simple as this. If these girls stop looking at that beautiful window, walk inside the church, they will get warm. They will walk out of the snow. They will get warm. You need to stop holding on to um, the past. You need to stop holding on to nothing will change because you're too fearful to instill that change within your own life. And you need to walk forward towards that door. Slay those wolves. I'm sorry. I don't mean like kill animals here. I'm not condoning that or anything. Um, just slay your fears. Take control of your life and walk through that door and start completing and acting on your soul's purpose because it will bring you to more emotional stability, better life um, stability, better mental stability, better physical stability. It will just balance your life out on a beautiful even keel and that is what you're trying to usher in change for the better this is what your soul's purpose is you need to start making advances and changing situational um circumstances within your own life to usher this change in okay group two that was your reading i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you can conquer your fears and start making the steps towards your um soul's purpose take care of yourselves bye Hello group three, you actually picked Speak No Evil Little Cherub and I still don't remember the name of this deck, I'm so sorry I didn't research it, I've been jumping into the readings but this is the, this is the deck and the cherub you chose, let's jump into your Akashic reading um, record. Alright, I'm going to channel with um, my Lemurian crystal and my a selenite wand we have the assistance of my guides and also Mita, who is my star seed ancestor um, from the mirror so let's connect okay i'm seeing the clouds and the sky for you and i actually saw a bat as well and a dragon you guys are dreamers aren't you you're wanting to accomplish things and you're very high achievers. You are high achievers. You are very success and career driven. You're wanting a successful life and you're wanting to accomplish some goals of some sort. You're fearful at the same time of failure because maybe you have some far out ideas or the goals that you're working with I was just referenced to a wizard or a warlock is um, something that's not of the norm 
and you're scared to even talk about it some of you because you don't want to you know maybe you're brought up in a household where it was very black and white and there was no in between but you are quite different I was actually referenced then to as well as somebody's sexuality um they are too scared to come out to their family or friends because they're scared of judgment as well but you're just wanting to fly high in the clouds and be free and live your true life and be your true self who you want to be so there are a few different messages coming through at once here there are people who are stuck but I think for group three you are stuck you are on pause you're not sure how to take your life to the next step and um, fly high and free like the bat spirit and soar amongst the clouds because you're thinking the dragon is there and he's going to you know be you're, you're just scared of this big dragon in the sky you think he's just going to burn you to death with his flame and you're going to you can't face the darkness this may have to do with some shadow work for a lot of you um you know really journaling or writing down visualizing those aspects within your own being within your own life of how what is making you fearful what is holding you back from living your true life your true version of your life um what is it how can you tackle it or how why is it happening why are you fearful how can you tackle it really journal and visualize what you need to do in order to overcome this problem you know it may take time and it may take a lot of strength and courage to get through this you've got a lot of um support out there but when it comes to family or parents or people that should be very close and supportive to you they are not because they see things very black and white and they see your life going one way where you see it going the other way this is the message i'm getting for you guys it's either about conformity to society or um no it's exactly about conformity conformity to society which is um wanting to live life a certain way a certain structure and not as not getting off the grid not um getting out of the norm it's like doing very things in a straight and narrow road and not venturing off that road onto a different path this is the message that's channeling from your akashic records it's saying it is very important for you to live your truth and be your true version of yourself because it's, um, you're at a point in your life where you're ready to change, where you're ready to live your true version of yourself, live your life in its truest form, how you're supposed to be living it and um, taking control. Again, you've got to tackle it head on and it's going to take a lot of strength and courage in order to do this. Um to get on the path you need to be on to escape from the people who are, should be supporting you no matter what road you choose whichever way you take your path they should be supporting you but isn't it funny you chose the speak no evil chair because you can't speak your truth you can't be the person you want to be because fear you're so scared of veering off the path and not following it the straight and narrow path that um you think you're going to be judged or criticized or just, you know, not wanted or welcomed anymore. You're so scared of other people's thoughts and opinions of the way you're living your life that um, you're just staying in your everyday routine, everyday life, everyday um, scriptures in a sense and not change. You're not turning the page. You're stuck on the same page every day, rereading, same sentences, not um, moving forward with your life, moving forward with the chapter of your life. Um, it's like you're in the prologue. You haven't even started the book yet. You have so much of your life to live in its truest form. You've lived so much of it um, just in the introduction and the prologue. You need to start turning those pages, getting into the chapters of your life in your true form that is not in the past form, which is your existence you're living right now. It needs to be in your futuristic true form, valuing who you truly, truly are on the path that you really need to be on because you are not living your true life that you're meant to be living and you need to start getting um, strict with yourself 
Get, gaining the strength within your own being, um, valuing your own self-beliefs and wants and knowing whatever is important and valuable to you is right for you. Nobody else's opinion should matter. Nothing else should matter. Your worth and your values and the way you want to live, and you live your life are important to you and you should not let anybody bring you down or talk you out of the way you want to live your life because it's important to you. It's your truth. It's your reality and you are being stopped from living and experiencing your true reality and your true self, your true existence. This is um, a lot to do with your soul. Your soul is asking for this change on on your behalf because you are not strong enough to actually um, bring these changes in, utter these changes in, bring them into your reality, into your real existence because you're very scared. And that's okay. It's not going to happen overnight. I think you have to work with yourself, be gentle with yourself, be kind with yourself and really be your own cheerleader here. If you have support and you have close um, groups you can um, talk to about, then talk to them about the way you want to live and what your insecurities are and what your fears are and really try and um, gain support. If you have no one you can talk to, to this about in your immediate circle then talk to um groups join groups of like-minded people on facebook or instagram or whatever social media you use you just use discernment and um pick and choose who you open up to because you're scared of being judged that's the sort of moral of the story here you're scared to open up and live your truth because you do not want to be judged for your values and for your self-beliefs and the way you want to live your life which nobody should be judging you for in the beginning. But we are a very judgmental society, human beings. There are not some not-so-nice um, beings out there. And, um, yeah, you should be able to live your life the way you want to live your life. Live your truth. Scream it from the rooftops and be living it. But you can't. And that's very sad reality. Your soul is yearning for you to do this and to be able to live your truth. You just simply can't because of judgment and the people that are with you in your inner circle even for some of you it's parents or a sister or a sibling or a brother you know what I mean it's someone very close to you maybe be a husband partner children even judgments are flowing in maybe you've opened up to them or you know you're having a discussion and saying I'd like to do this this and this and they just laughed and said that's not reality that's not real and you were very hurt by this statement when they should have valued your opinion and your wants and wishes and needs your voice is not being heard you cannot speak you're afraid to open your mouth because of this criticism that you've achieved that you've um had so far you want to be a herd. You want to speak up. You want to be living your dreams and following them and telling everybody about them and who you truly are. But you can't because you're scared of criticism because you've opened your mouth already and you've just been met with um, criticism. And it is not fair. People shouldn't criticize what they don't understand. They should just support, especially your parents or your family or friends. They should be supporting you through your dreams. Through who, you, through who you are authentically. Your authentic self needs to shine through, come out and be the person and live the existence that they want to be living. So really, I'm urging you to um, pull out um, your journal, start journaling, start writing and um, tackling these demons head on. Do the shadow work. Really try and be your own cheerleader Gather the support up to um, voice your opinion, be heard and live your life authentically, okay? Because this is your soul urging you to change and be true to yourself and want to live its best life possible. These cards just flew out. Yeah, look at that. Look what we've been talking about, strength. You need to utter in your strength because you're very scared of judgments and... Um, deceit but you are deceiving yourself in not living your authentic life okay you're afraid to walk away and you're holding on to your um, everyday existence because you're scared of being judged 
Your wishes and dreams ultimately will come true. When you decide to take charge, the emperor is all about taking charge and living the life you're meant to live and taking charge of your current existence. You'll bring balance into your life, ultimate balance, and bring every element of your life into balance. And your wishes will start coming true once you walk away, once you face your fears, and once you gather the strength to do so. Your tarot messages, they all fell out all at once, okay? I did not shuffle and make them come out like that. They all fell out at once. That just mimicked and summed up the story that I just told you through your channeled message. I'm going to ask for some more messages for you because your message was quite brief and quite short. So I'm going to ask some more, but I think this is the message you need to hear, group three. These are the changes that your soul needs to go through in order to change and live its truest form. I'm just going to ask for some more cards, please, if the Akashic Records allows. But it is very brief sometimes because they only allow us to access what we can access. Yeah, you're getting the same messages over and over again. I don't think um, you're allowed to. No here anymore that's okay we thank them so much for giving us um, the messages we have so far we have balance reversed you're out of balance you already know this because you're not living your honest life and you're not letting the past go and um, you're not walking away you're still living your everyday existence which isn't your truth and you can't put any work into living your truth until you go through these changes and I think you got to go through these changes on your own unfortunately as I said, you can usher in support from um, close friends or people you really trust. Um, if you have no one, usher in a support group from Facebook or whatever social media you're on. But you are in charge. This is your destiny here. Your soul is earning, earning, yearning to change, earning, yearning to change. And you need to bring these changes in so you can start living your true authentic existence, okay? Group three, I hope you liked your reading. I thank the Akashic Records for letting us access them and, um, you know, telling us this message you needed to hear. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.